Extremely rampage. Bayo. Loba is uh, repping the XTR crew, which is a uh, Tijuana based esports crew that uh, Spargo is on. So they are all exceptionally good, talented young players, from what I can tell. All right, then. And let's get into it here. Tata versus Loba, and we are sticking with the inkling. Well, let's go. It's Nashville, game one. That's a fun pick. Oh, immediately nice. runs up and just starts jabbing, and like this. I mean, Tato doing some good damage, but we've seen what Loloba has done with this, uh, with this Bayo. Like, the combos are really good. And you gotta watch out. I mean, Bayo's back air at high percent, so that's just, that's just their kill option. Gotta be aware of it. So far, Tato's well, also been getting a lot of stray, uh, parries. So I feel like there's probably some degree of magic knowledge here. Good movement there. Probably the funniest thing I recall with uh, with Bayonetta is like the character's good, obviously, but like her got that back here, gonna take it. Oh down. god, that was such a clean back here. Yeah, just dropped off ledge and did it. Like really was able to capitalize. Now it's funny because like in the Bayonetta series, like her up B and her side B, they're not amazing in the games. They're more just they exist. So it's funny how they're really really strong in this game. And like that forward air call out for the jump get up inkling. Tato, good stuff. All the Inkling mains out there are probably wondering, man, if only every character was as light as Bayonetta, our fair would be a good kill option. <laughs> yeah, it is true. It's actually... Uh-oh. That's Which That's not going to kill, but that's, that is a free combo, so... Now, what you saw right there, so every side B and up B that Bayonetta does means that they're going to be in more lag when they land. So... They they landed like right here, and there's there's just some extra lag. So you can capitalize if you're aware of that stuff. It's hard to be fully aware though. Good stuff coming out from Bayonetta with the ledge trump. Not gonna get the back air, only getting a neutral air. And yeah, I mean these percents are climbing, but it's still anyone's game here. I'm not seeing any real super high advantage. I'm seeing these two players really sock each other. It still feels like Laloba has like a considerable advantage in momentum so far. The Tato hasn't quite been able to take that. Not gonna get the grab there and the dash attack and a spark, but here we go. Manages to get on the inside of that up air and does not die. Nice oh, but the there's a the back air that wasn't even the strong hit. Gonna take it. One good roll here will do it, but Bayonetta does not like to stay on the ground. And right now, Tyler's not been in the position of Hester. Uh oh. Yeah, he's fine. Still alive. They're taking a lot of damage here. Loloba keeping yeah. the pressure here. Oh man, I thought a back air was there. Curry by Loloba. Oh, I love that movement with a Z through the stage. A good wave landing back onto the platform really mix up the, the options here. Tyler just uh -oh. really can, uh, finally Pop. finding a grounded option there. 114, though. Rough. Really, really rough. Ah. <laughs> that would have killed. We know that would have killed. <laughs> that was so cheeky from Loloba. But 37 right here, another couple hits, and then a roller. This will be it, but that is going to be it. Demon Fist to the face. First game to Loloba. Stylish, which time? Me, baby. Bayonetta. <laughs> Speaking of which, why is Bayonetta 3, like, there's been no information? I have to ask this question. Because not only did Platinum Games announce Astral Chain, they then released the game while Bayonetta 3 was announced before it. And that was oh, a year funny. and a half ago. So where is what is going on with Bayonetta 3 right now? Like, I need One to know. One of the mysteries of life. Like, Platinum Games, they're so busy. And now there's rumors that they're working on Okami too. So like, what, what are you doing? Hey. Like maybe they'll speak up now that we're uh, now that the new consoles are out, but I don't know. <laughs> Back into the match here, we got Inkling versus Bayonetta. Let's see what the stage counter pick's gonna be. No character swap. 
I feel like the this, Apatite is opted for a larger stage. This makes sense. Inkling, Inkling does rather well on this stage. A lot of space for them to work with. Yep. Back air completely denying the heel slide. Yeah. And actually getting a trip with it, too. Jab reset, not gonna happen. Gonna get second place instead. Tato off to a brilliant start so far. And being able to parry the afterburner kick from Ledge. So right there, you saw there were like four specials that Bayonetta did. When she landed on the platform, she was she had about like 20 to 30 frames of landing lag. So if you chase her correctly, you can you can actually do it. Oh, and the ledge trap resulting in that down smash. Tato put the exclamation point on that stock. Here comes the low ball. Oh my god, I was about to say, Tato only took 7%. So that would have been so rough if Bayonetta rebuttaled immediately. And it looks like Loba's doing that. Like, Loba's not letting Tato feel too comfortable right now. The jab. Why does it hurt so, Jet? <laughs> I mean, hey, you got a you gotta yellow witch now, so... Oh, that, that did nothing. That witch time did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Try to throw a big meaty fist at ledge. You gotta be careful. That up tilt in the back air is a thing. You also gotta be careful because Bayonetta did not wanna uh to wall cling there. That's something that can happen that on this stage. Crazy. Did you see that Tato parried the last hit of, of the down, air. down air? Yeah, so yeah. this way he could then get the capitalization with the burrow. Very good stuff. Wow. Alright. Tato playing this game too expertly right now. And grabbing the Lobos. Extending the combo, waits for the air dodge, almost goes for a jab reset. That would have been it. Goes for another down smash Jesus. setup. The pressure continues. Tato on fire this stock, but gonna get deleted with that back air. Finally suffering the pain of defeat. <laughs> oh man, gotta watch out though, because of a couple of forward airs here will kill. But Bayonetta's gotta make yeah, gonna make it back. And that was an immediate rebuttal. Immediate rebuttal. Like with those combos, you got to figure out how you want to SDI and try to keep yourself towards the center of the stage. That's really what you got to do. Do Tato have to play a little more hesitantly? Well, yeah, Those especially with what Loba is doing here. Like Loba is is completely turning this around. Does not get the up air follow up that would have killed. And there, that lag was not able to capitalize on it. Oh, man. Oh, oh gonna know it there. Narrowly avoid that. And here we go. Well, I'm not coming in as much, but getting the back throw. The tower closed out here. Tato at 71%, keeping his composure. That should be it. For a second there, I realized we haven't seen the first time come out in a bit. I feel like the logo was probably, like, in shock from the... Uh, the earlier complete witch time whiff on splat bomb right. either way tato put themselves so far ahead early that on that they were able to really just kind of keep it there Loba. Yeah, yeah. Loba was able to strike back quickly uh pretty early oh, yeah. but it was crazy and that and that combo that he had on stock two somebody clipped that for us like that was very very good uh, choco you are correct like loba very very good player from the record that we've seen and bayonetta looking really clean here so let's see what's going to happen here game three right now one one on this um loser semis winner is this is going to go fight Rax. Three, two, Ooh, small battlefield one. small battlefield honestly like this this it got to become the new ps2 because i i like this stage a lot i mean it's not perfect it has issues but ps2 is way too big you should not have that big of a stage be the starter or the stage that everyone considers to be the neutral stage. <laughs> Which it's not. It's too big. Like, it can't be neutral. People can run away. Right now, it looks like the Lobo's not doing anything. Oh, man. A lot of ink, though. That's going to be big. And there. Again, every time that Bayonetta lands, you just got to watch out for it. It's hard to react to, but there's not many things that Bayonetta will do. This oh, is it. Such that was... patience from Tato getting the kill confirm off roller. Now, here's what I don't think you realize. Tato ran out of ink with that hit. 
Had he had a little wow. less ink, that up smash would not have killed. It wouldn't have worked. Yes, Choco. Uh, I believe Loba, so. Uh, I believe Aloba is from Mexico. I, I'd have to check. We do get a good amount of players from over there. They're tied to the uh, XTR team, which is Spargo sponsors. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Like, I'm confident. Witch I'm time confident managed like to get a shield. Shield there from Tato. Yeah, managed Jesus. to witch time into the shield. Good, good stuff there. Tato looking really nice. Oh, down air has such high knockback. Really good kill from the Loba. And all it's to take is one more magic carpet ride off the side <laughs> to really even this up. A tech chase situation oh, just waits it out, but does not get the grab that would have done it. And we know that up throw to up air would have done it. And that's exactly what Tata was looking for. Yep. And I got the DI right too. Super, so. super clean on that. Good stuff. Oh, but look at the little like, nah, nah. And there and again, lands, like with that. lands with lag. I'll say it every time so this way people can see it. I mean, it's when you understand your opponent, you can understand how to counter them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, they, they literally looked at each other. They said, okay, and then they went back to it. I mean, there was no That's lag spikes. So this, was, this was completely them saying, cool, I see you Mind there. Games. I see you too. How are you doing today? The answer is full. Oh. Okay, let's let's finish this match. I think Loloba just barely whiffed on that tech chase. He footstooled him! Down. What? Oh, he footstooled him down there in the magnified. Jesus. It's exactly what Loloba needs right now. Here we go. Going for a ride. Only 48% only. It was it was a nice combo. But now Inkling gonna get a combo of her own. Which time nice. coming in or uh Bats within coming in clutch twice Again? now. Oh, okay. This flat bomb came in clutch, and that almost spiked. Oh, that was me up smash right there. From Very good movement coming out here from Tato, going to the other platform. Bayonetta knows that they can die. Uh oh. Oh, I'm surprised that Loloba brought that back. This is the grab. These grab whips are gonna haunt Tato if he loses this game. 94 to 98 right now. If you're Tata, you're probably just fishing for a down air landing with. Oh man, barely tips it there. Black bomb coming in, not gonna get a forward air. And this is this is where Inkling can kind of struggle because that back air just sent him nowhere. Like it's 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 actually really difficult for Inkling to kill without a roller or something along those lines at these percents. The grab with up air! Oh he didn't do get it. it! He didn't have ink, he didn't have ink. And Oh it miss tries to do the up air call out, not gonna grab it. We got an up tilt call, oh, no back oh, air. Oh, the back air. Not going to do it. 115, 126. God, these players are throwing out hitboxes. Something's going to hit. Yeah, actually, Tato opting not to get more ink right now. Running a little bit low here. So many back airs coming out here from the Lola. Oh. Oh my god, an air dodge is in, but gets hit by the heel. Very, very close. Loloba bringing that back. That was wild. <laughs> it was a that very, was a, very was intense last minute. Intense oh my god. Scramble. Yeah, it was an intense scramble to the finish, man. Oof. Indeed, indeed. And you have to wonder if Tato is going to be... I think Tato's fine. I think... The footstool was enough to tilt. Tato says, "You know what? If I don't, if I don't die at a super early percent, I can do this." That's where I think his mind's at. So we'll have to see. As we said, winner of this is going to fight Rax right now, and this is an intense game, nonetheless. Lolobo with a two-one lead currently. Ready? All right, here they go, running it back in. Where will they no go? Can. No Ken, so Loba's sticking with the main. Yeah, Loba's sticking with Bayo, and Tato's going to be sticking with Inkling. No Ken coming out here. Oh, so, that's what to say, Tato. Yep. <laughs> so, here we go. Bring in Town and City. One, this, I I am interested to see how does Inkling get the kills here. God, that's so scary. Dangerously. 
Good grab and heel slide. Here we go, going for a ride. Not gonna get anything, though. Inkling can honestly can just dash in under those guns. You don't have to be scared at all. And we finally oh, got a little stray hit here. Yeah, a little stray hit, but now we get something going. Yeah, we're not seeing, like, too many crazy combos coming out here. I mean, it's just... Oh, God! The raw F smash there. Clear yeah, that first blood. That hits hard. Four. That definitely hits hard. Slide in there by Tato. Loba. Sitting back for a minute. It's a down tilt. All right, Ink not going on uh, on Bayo here. Gonna spot dodge that. We'll okay, so that's so that's there. interesting. The heel slide even on the Ink goes the same distance, although like that's running and stuff too. will be slower. Not gonna get the up air. Not gonna follow it, but gets the trade. <laughs> that was really wow, uh, Loba just ran at Tato here. for for like. Yeah, that was so weird. That was funny. A little bit of dancing here, finally getting something here, and that was 28% from the jabs, like... Uh-oh. Oh, he tried to run away! Oh, actually trumps the witch. I was gonna say, wasn't that back here immediately? Yeah, but Tato was the Tato. one who trumped him. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that was the expectation there. I wasn't ready, but here we go. Okay. Got a little bit of platform camp at the top. And Tato, again, opting not to, like, fully recover his ink. He's he's really keeping the pressure here. I said what's really wise about Loba is he basically just waited oh. out the that was on him. Yeah, that was a good tech chase thing. Here we go. Keeping his ink up again. Ooh. Nice grab. Tato looking for the kill blow. Kill blow here. Nope, not quite. Oh. Okay, interesting. Guess the gun hits. That would have been good if a little bit caught Tato's jump, but not quite. Yep, not gonna get it. Tries to follow in, not gonna get it. I like what Tato does there at the ledge. Like, sees all this stuff from Bayonetta and just crouches because he knows that it's not gonna, probably not gonna hit. <gasps> oh, that almost, that the one time he didn't crouch, he almost got nailed for it. Yeah, that angle down uh, afterburner not going to line up to a back air. And that's how it's so scary with Bayo. Again, Bayo can just kind of make their way out there. I thought I was going to see a double down smash there. <laughs> oh, and the up air. Going to take it. 150 on Tato, making the lead here. And I remember, Four this throw. is not going to kill. Good pummel. Oh! Here. Even on yeah. Town and City. Town and City, Jeez. the ledge is, yeah, they, there's enough space. Oh, nice hit there. Oh. One. Oh my god, rolls. Are you kidding me? Yeah, manages the roll and use the iframes of the roll to completely get under Bay. Now a 200% oh here on Tato. Tato does not want to go to their tournament. Oh, is that gonna do it? Oh, he almost got the other Good mashing out by Loba. Oh. Again! Tato That's not going to the tournament sock. They are going to game five instead. Oh, oh my God. man! Someone needs to clip that roll through on which time. That was beautiful. That's such a, that such a busted Inkling moment. <laughs> like this, literally, like Inkling's the only character that works for. Like basically. I mean, if anyone were rolling through there, they would have they would have avoided that. But that was beautiful. Good stuff there. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Clutching that out. This is a match. Like we've had so many right. good matches. I mean. What we do at the end of our at the end of our tourneys on the top eight graphic is we we give a set to watch and I'll be honest like it's gonna between, be really hard this week between winners finals and losers semis like this is hard but hey we might get some more intense matches to come we still have at least two more sets here and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'm I'm gonna survive <laughs> all right so we know Loloba has a Rob we know Loloba's yep. Rob has done stuff. It has definitely um, clutched out some games here. I I don't know what happens here. Rob is a big body, so Inkling's going to do a lot of things. But now you're playing a way more projectile-heavy game and zoning game. 
than you are playing a combo heavy game. So let's see what Tato does here. I, I don't know how many robs Tato has fought at this caliber. Aim five, folks, for all the marbles. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, the down air! Wow, that changes the complexion immediately of this. Maloba on fire. He's catching Tato completely asleep there. This man's 76? only taking it. This man's only the taking 10%. Air. And this the all the gimp! Oh Jesus my god, that's Christ. not a gimp. It's been a minute! That was not a gimp, that was death. That gyro came all the way out there, and now Tato finally getting something started, but Laloba is not taking a lot of damage. I mean, this is this is a crazy, crazy way to end it here. The Rob Switch really doing work here. Nigh insurmountable mountain for Tato to try and climb, but still. Yeah, a lot Tato's of work that they gotta do, and they are putting on work right now, 100% here on Rob. One good roller will kill, as we know, but, oh, 120. Not gonna get the roller, not gonna get the gyro. And even that nair. But just don't forget, Rob's laser does like 19, okay? You get hit by one of those, it hurts. Please don't get hit by Rob's laser. All right, just calls it out with the up smash. Not gonna take it though, very close. But now all that effort that Tato was doing, those four hits were enough Ooh. to make it so that Tato is that huge hill to climb right now. If Tato got that stock off without this damage, it would be huge. I really feel like Smash Fall also is a really good part in how things have gone so far. Back air not going to do it at 150. Most characters' back airs do kill at that percent, so just Inkling does struggle in that department. Oh, going to get hit through the stage. Loba. Does not want to end this. Loba. There is is not enough. The gyro. Oh, no. <laughs> go! Laloba <laughs> bringing out the Rob in a swift, swift three stock there. God. Tato almost getting something started on that third stock, but oh, uh, was unable to make it up the mountain. Good stuff. Laloba just found every opportunity to call a shot and was like. Option, option, call out, call out, it's brutal.